Hi everyone. So today I am going to show you one of the most amazing workflows I have made. This is one of my favorite ones and I think this is one of the best when using the latest Flux tools uh, LoRa's especially the depth or canny one. Depth is exceptionally well and uh, like I am in love with it and what I am doing is that to create this particular image uh, the overview is that I am taking a subject I am taking a background we can upload any of these and then I am just superimposing uh, the subject on the background and then creating a depth map and then obviously uh, rendering the image right so now I'll tell you and don't worry I have a lot of comparisons as well and I'm going to tell you what changes you can make so obviously there is this uh, like uh, prompt window so you can put a prompt right and uh, after that you can put megapixels so this is the final image you want and I'll tell you the reason as you know flux can take up to 2 megapixel but there is a reason I am putting 1.98 and I'll show that there are some problems when we go directly to 2 so I'll show that as well so you can use like 1.98 1.99 something like that now the thing is there are two switches here one of them is whether you want to flip the subject or not so if you want to flip uh, this subject on x-axis so this hand would be on the right side right so currently you can see I am choosing the second one which is the original if you select the first one it will be flipped so this is the second one now for the second switch what I am doing is you can see the third one is selected which is overlaid so overlaid is basically it is using the background and the uh, foreground and then creating a depth mat if you want uh, to normally use the original image the uh, subject this one completely without removing the background just select this one to one and you can use the original image and the depth map, uh, map will be created with the original image two is to use this image but after removing the background so there would not be any addition of background you can put it in the prompt but it will just have the subjects depth map so no windows anything here right and the third one is the main one where you can actually put a background and this works exceptionally well now here another thing that you can see is that any of these nodes which are blue are the ones which you can like change something basically and the image composite one you can actually change the x and y positions of this particular like subject so if you want to move uh, like this actually works where uh, this particular image is pretty good but uh, sometimes you will have a landscape image and you would want to move the subject right or left or something like that so you can do that as well with this particular node right other than that i don't think you need to change anything now obviously in the uh, pre-processor you can select the canny and you can select the canny lora right so you can use the same workflow for canny as well but what i have seen is that for these kind of images it actually can understand pretty well what is the foreground and the background and the resultant image is exceptionally good and that is why i use depth and also it gets a little bit of more creativity another thing that you can notice is that in the LoRa, I am actually also using other LoRa's with this as well. So Ultra Real Photo, this one I am using on 0.68 strength. And you can see that the depth LoRa, I am using 0.9, the weight. And the reason for that is, sometimes what happens is that when we are creating depth, you can see there would be some kind of edges, something extra, which can also come up in the depth map. So I am not putting it at one full. The reason being, I want a little bit of flexibility for the flux model. So if it finds something, it can like uh, pr use its own creativity, you know. And if there is some kind of uh, like uh, extra selection in the subject, it can understand and change it in different way. I'll also show it in this one. So this was the complete workflow. You'll get the links to the LoRa, the workflow and everything in the comments below. So don't worry. 
Now let's see some of the images that I have cre created previously and like try to analyze them. So this was the subject. This was the background. This was the superimposition of these and model in red backless dress fantasy magical bedroom. This is uh, the prompt, right? And with that, you can see I have uh, two generations here. One is this one. And this is what I was talking about. Now in this image, you can see there is something extra here in the selection, right? And what is this? This is basically from the background, but somehow uh, it thought that this was with the subject. But this is the thing when you put uh, the LoRa on 0 0.9, it actually changed into a different design near the window. So it can understand it has that flexibility and creativity. Here, it became the part of the dress. So obviously, if you give a little bit of space, like uh, a little bit of flexibility, it can recreate something in that particular extra selection. This is one thing. Now for the second image, I had this subject. I had this particular background. And again, you can see this particular hand is not something which can be easily created by flux so that is why it completely changes and created a different kind of hand and this is why i try to put it on 0 0.9 or 0 0.85 so this is the reason so i want it to have a little bit flexibility because if it took the depth from this it would certainly mess up something and another thing that you would notice is that this is pretty good like this is a library and I actually put the megapixels exactly two. So two is like the upper limit that uh, flux can actually generate. And after that, it uh, cannot generate properly. Now, the thing is when I put exactly two, I have seen for some aspect ratios, it slightly creates these kind of, uh, I don't know, patterns. So maybe like it kind of exceeds the exact dimension that flux can generate. So putting it here at 1.98 or 1.99 generally works pretty well and uh, it can be of any aspect ratio it just like calculates the total megapixel and creates it other than that you can see that the image is quite good it is not bad at all the shadows and everything obviously will be created so it looks pretty good the third one was this so this was the subject this was a swimming pool and model in blue bikini top and black miniskirt swimming pool this was the whole prompt and you can see that this was created so obviously the swimming pool and everything here like the details have been changed and the uh, the mix up of two like subject uh, foreground and background is pretty good like uh, it actually looks good there is shadow as well and the color grading and everything so it is a uh, it is an amazing way if you want to prompt using two different images and obviously you can uh, put any kind of color anything uh, if it, you can change the lighting you can make it day or night because depth only takes uh, the objects and uh, the relative distance between them so you can make it a day you can make it night you can put anything you can see the background is forest here and here you can see it was something different this also works with canny but for canny i have seen that it cannot be as creative this is a problem because obviously it would take these edge lines as well of the trees and everything but here you can see you can literally change everything like the ethnicity and the hair color the background everything can be changed even the lighting the highlights from where it is coming because this is something depth does not calculate that from which way the lighting is like in this one you can see how the lighting is affecting and in this one it is quite different so uh, you can create lots of different images and try this out if you have any kind of doubt any comments anything like that so put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you